What is going on guys? Welcome to the video. My name is Rusos and I'm just here to show you the new T7 Premium that will be showing up in the Premium shop I assume very very soon. Um, this is just a first impressions video, just me giving my sort of thoughts on what I think of the plane. Um, but yeah, let's get started. So the plane itself is the Yakolev Yak 3T. It is a, in my opinion, a turn fighter, as you can see from the maneuverability there. I've already kitted this thing out, but um, I didn't want to go any any further than just kitting it out of stock. I just wanted to give you guys a first impressions, base look at it, because not everyone's going to be able to just go, bam, let's let's specialize it, let's get it done, let's get everything everything sorted. But um, let's have a look at the plane just quickly, a little brief overview. The plane itself has uh, a 37mm cannon and two 20mm cannons. It's um, quite a robust armament when you compare it to something like the Yak 3RD. So that's a, a very big step up in terms of gun armament. It does lose a little bit of speed due to the fact that it doesn't have that ramjet there that the Yak 3RD does have. Um, in terms of my kit out at the moment, I'm just rocking a gun sight, lightweight wings, and lightweight uh, man, memories are failing me right now. Um, uh, lightweight engine. There we go. Sorry about that. Uh, but uh, in terms of consumables, I always run with a fire extinguisher, no matter what, usually. Um, then we've also got uh, control surfaces, and we've also got engine cooling as well, and just universal ammo. The reason I go with con with uh, engine cooling is um, due to the fact that um, when I'm out of boost, I can get more boost. I can either get it back quicker, or I can end up um, extending my boost period um, when I'm low, low boost. So yeah, uh, let's just give this a bit of a look at and and see what we think. Alrighty, guys, and we're back. Let's just give this thing a fly. Let's have a look and see who's in the game. No one that I'm familiar with. So let's just rock and roll. Let's just get this done. Have a quick squeeze at the map there. Garrisons and airfields. So let's let's just fly through over here. Get ourselves some shots on some ADAs. This stage um, boost is very very small, so that engine cooling consumable is definitely going to be beneficial. Um, let's get up here and have a look at this ADA. 37 mil cannons going ballistic, which is nice. Feels very, very similar to the Urbanitas or um, anything with. Um, well, where are you going? You're not going to have me. Where are you going? Uh, let's give this to him. Ah, he can run, he'll come back. Altitude performance is a little on the low side, but it is a yak, so that's something that we should all be expecting from this sort of aircraft. Let's just have a look and see how she goes in some solid turns when we get in mid over here. So far we're tied pretty much in terms of scores, yep. <laughs> Go say hello to this fella. Stay alert, pilot. Large enemy force spotted over the airfield. And you'll notice that I go very quiet when I'm concentrating. Okay, so it turns still very much so like a yak. Very similar to the turn that the Yak 3RD has, um, just without that extra whip that you get from the ramjet. So still solid maneuverability, and seeing as it's got a base maneuverability of 82, I believe, um, you'd be able to um, maybe push that close to 100, if not at 100, which is very, very solid. Let's see how it goes in a climb shortly. Once we get rid of this IL-8. Good night, IL-8. All right, let's get some boost back. If we go after this aisle 10. Yeah, 
There we go. So we've got Boost back. Let's give her a run and a climb. So she's she's a little little sluggish, but she gets up to optimal altitude not quick enough, which is nice. Which is what you want. We need to get in here and defend. Where are you going, VB10? What are you doing? You're coming back. All right, the stance. Good night. Good night. A 37 and the 220s really do work a treat. Definitely uh, very versatile in terms of going up against heavies. Uh, potentially a low-flying bomber if they manage to come down this low, which we see quite a bit of. But um, realistically, it's going to be very, very capable against most things, especially GAs. As you've seen me take out an IL-8 and an IL-10, I think it was. That Corsair did not like those 37 mils. And he'll burn out, which is nice. Okay. I haven't really had too much of a turn fight yet, which has been a little bit disappointing, but overall, 6,400 points so far. And there we go, GAA dead, and your turn now, Mr. IL-10. Let's get some height over him. Who's coming here, BF-109G? So far, it's very stable. It's a very stable gun platform so far. Um, I think we've all come to sort of expect that from from the Yak aircraft, um, low survivability, however, very, very good in turns, very solid gun armaments. Um, in terms of higher tiers, we're looking at a better boosts and stuff like that, but um, I think this plane is going to be very, very formidable when it comes to being able to cap and defend. Where are you going, BF? Come on, man. Come on, mate. You know, go to sleep. Thank you. This is a very nice plane. I'm definitely going to be picking this up. Oh, nope, no P40. No P40. And we'll go down on him now. Uh, so we're definitely doing some good, good work in terms of capping. The other team's just not even getting anywhere. In terms of damage output, definitely very strong. The only thing that I'm a little disappointed with is the boost, which I can sort of mitigate with that engine cooling consumable. So I'm not too phased about that. And their superiority. That'll do just nicely. Boost, let's see if we can get up here with boost consumable. Add another four seconds or so to the boost, which is nice. Let's see how she goes up high quickly. Come on, BF109. You know you want to. Oh, not even going to get there. So we're looking at about a 2,500, 2,400 meter ceiling. There we go. That's a that's a superiority victory right there. We got first place, eleven thousand points, uh, six six minutes and thirty two second battle, which is nice. All right, let's go back to hangar. All right, you guys, there we have it. That's the Yak Three team. My overall impressions: very good plane. Um, to be able to score that well, even though it was a low player count game, um, and get superiority like that. Uh, I think that this plane is, has a heavy influence in terms of turn fighting. I think that it's going to be very formidable in turns. It's got very good gun armament, low boost. We can mitigate though if you want to choose the um, the boost consumable. Um, but overall, I think this is going to be a very, very solid plane and definitely worth picking up. But yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. And if you want to check out any more of my content, I'm primarily a Twitch streamer. You can check me out at twitch.tv forward slash Rusos. And uh, I'll link that down below. Also, my Discord will be linked down below as well. So, But thank you for watching. And uh, I'll catch you again. See you guys.